Now the talk of the day has been that smoke that returned, but Mike's back to let us know it's not going to be here much longer. Nope, another 24 hours and it'll be in the rearview mirror, both literally and figuratively. I want to give you a live look over top of SeaTac where it was hazy today. In fact, any attempt to see Mount Rainier was basically muted by that haze that was hanging in the low levels of the atmosphere, at least over King and Snohomish counties. Other parts of the state were actually pretty nice today. Temperatures were warm. We got into the upper 70s and lower 80s across the region. Well above average, bit on the Cool side overnight. I'll show you some extraordinary numbers there in a moment. 88 is the record for today's date and that sunset 709, which leads to our next topic. Tomorrow is the fall equinox 604 PM local time. We'll be crossing over. It's not going to be exactly 50 50. 656 is when the sun rises. 707 is when it sets there. Reason being is that the only place where it happens 50% 50% is at the equator. We are considerably farther north there, so that's why we don't get a perfect spread, but still. It's going to be a very interesting day. Taking a look at low temperatures this morning. It started cold in some spots. That offshore flow really cooling things down in Shelton and Olympia where it touched down into the 30s. Other folks, including Everett, Seattle, got into the 50s overnight. And even along the coast, it was relatively warm. Some low and some upper 40s there. 48 in Port Angeles. 42 was your low in Bellingham. But then nice recovery. You know how we were just pointing out Shelton a moment ago? A 45 degree warm up today from 36 to 81. Many of us getting to some very nice territory. Olympia was 82 today out towards the coast. Bit of a mixed bag. 78 and Forks at 65 was the high in Hoquiam. So as we take a look at winds right now, it's about what you don't see. Notice you're not seeing a whole lot of color here. You're not seeing really any numbers just down towards the far south. We've had a gust over 20 miles an hour within the last hour, but seeing some settling and some onshore flow, especially down towards South Sound there, that is a sign of things to come. In fact, as we kind of put things in motion here, the low pressure system that's been delivering some abundant and very welcome moisture to some starved areas kind of putting a well an exclamation mark on fire season. It's not finished yet, but that certainly helped. That will get nudged off towards the east as this new system starts to move in. So a couple things you'll notice. There'll be some cloud cover out there tomorrow. By the time we get to Friday, you'll see even more cloud cover out there and some blue dots, something we haven't seen for a while, but Fear not. By the time we get to the weekend, that starts to clear out and it's going to be some good stuff. Take a look at your seven day forecast. It plays out a little something like this. Low 70s to get ourselves into fall. It's going to be cool and cloudy and fall feeling on Friday. But by the time we get to the weekend, clears and warms very nicely.